Item number SCP-3395 Index The Servants of Fire Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures As of August 2001, the SCP-3395 containment team is employed at the Foundation Front Company, headquartered in the North Tower, Tower 1, of the World Trade Center Complex. Any reported sightings of SCP-3395 are to be responded to by the subdivision of Mobile Task Force by one city slickers assigned to the World Trade Center. SCP-3395's manifestation area is to be immediately cleared of civilians and amnestics issued as appropriate. The messages delivered by SCP-3395 and their exact meaning are currently being reviewed and analyzed by researchers and this file will be updated with any relevant findings. Area of SCP-3395's initial manifestation, South Tower. Subsequent manifestations have been confined to higher floors of the buildings. Description SCP-3395 is a spectral humanoid entity resembling Monica Rodriguez Smith, 1958 through 1993, an employee of the World Trade Center who was killed during the 1993 bombing of the complex. SCP-3395 periodically appears throughout the World Trade Center at unpredictable intervals. Currently, it most commonly manifests between the hours of 08.30 and 10.30 a.m. in the offices of businesses located between the 80th and 110th top floors of either of the main twin towers. During manifestation events, SCP-3395 will remain stationary and repeatedly vocalize a series of phrases while maintaining a facial expression that has been described as blank or looking through you. SCP-3395's statements are cryptic and lack any obvious underlying meaning, but all deal with the subject of death or destruction, usually incorporating fire as a motif and referring to the servants of fire. The theory currently accepted by SCP-3395 researchers is that it is attempting to share knowledge of a cataclysmic future event, but due to the vagueness of its descriptors, that event has yet to be identified. SCP-3395 does not respond to outside stimuli and cannot be moved due to its incorporeal nature. As such, containment of manifestation events is primarily concerned with temporarily evacuating the affected area of the towers and issuing amnestics. Addendum 3395.A Notable SCP-3395 Manifestation Events Date 15 January 2000 First recorded manifestation Location Lobby, South Tower, 900 hours AM SCP-3395 Transcript Two of the servants of fire have arrived. A common vessel carried them across the seas, not knowing of their intentions for its brothers. It has begun. Date. 18 May 2000. Location. Windows on the World Restaurant, 107th floor, North Tower, 9.30 hours AM. Transcript. The guardians of the weak have fallen to deception. A servant of fire is allowed to enter the land of the innocent. His smoke will replace the air, as the suffocating power of his evil lays waste to the monument of civilization. Date. 11 September 2000 Location AON Corporate Offices 105th Floor South Tower 9.50 hours AM Transcript I hear his voice now. He cries out, desperate to escape the inferno, reaching out to those who cannot save him. His voice will reach across the years, even as his soul does not. Date 31 December 2000 Location. Marsh and McLennan offices, 96th floor, North Tower, 8.45 hours AM. Transcript. The last cycle of peace is complete. The center of the fire will consume all around it, and those closest will perish before the pain begins. I hear the screams, and they last for moments. Date. 23 August, 2001. Most recent manifestation. Location. Cantor Fitzgerald Offices. 102nd Floor. North Tower. 10.30 hours AM. Transcript. Soon, the time will come. 
an opportunity to destroy the servants of fire has come and gone. Here is where the suffering will be most acute. Here is where the air will remain clear as their worlds are consumed. Here they will wait, rendered helpless by the failure of their protectors. Note. This is the first recorded instance of SCP-3395 directly addressing the area surrounding it.